What's up, Notre Dame Admissions? It's Catherine O'Leary here, and I'm Haley Openlander. And tonight we're here to show you that Notre Dame's not all leprechauns and Southwest salads. In fact, it is very haunted. So we're gonna be walking you through the most haunted places on campus. Let's go. Here at our first stop is Washington Hall. According to legend, the, the legendary Notre Dame football player, the Gipper, thank you, got locked out of his dorm one day, very, very late. There was a snowstorm and he had to sleep on the steps of Washington Hall. And it was so cold and he contracted pneumonia. And so on his deathbed, Newt Rockney comes in and is like, Gipper, you know, what do you want? And the Gipper says, win just one for the Gipper. And legend has it that he haunts his place to this day. Obviously not to go. Here we are at our next stop, the Lake Trail. There's literally nothing haunted here, it just gets really creepy at night. So be sure to bring out a date and they're sure to hold your hand. Wait, what's that noise? Where's Catherine? Back to business. But actually though, that's creepy. And last but not least, perhaps the most haunted building of all is the Steffen Center. This building has haunted generations of pre-meds and engineers as they take their APM exams that they know they're going to fail. And I think there could be some kids getting haunted right this minute. Seriously, not creepy. I heard a story about a kid who fell asleep studying here and missed his exam and got a zero. It's not it's just sad, honestly. Ooh. I heard the Tower of Terror was based off of these elevators. Only scary for the opposing team. Oh! <laughs> you don't even want to know what happened in this room. 